Hey folks, I'm Corin Spice Freak Sloss, and today I have a bunch of fresh peppers from Western Peppers. As you saw at the beginning of the last video. Now we have three different varieties here. We have a bowl full of piquinos, some red, some yellow. And then we have what I'm really excited for, which are these. Now, these are supposedly habanadas, completely heatless habaneros, but if I didn't know what they were supposed to look like from online, I might almost mistake these for habanagas. Because look at that. That is twisty and evil looking, and it's just one of many like that. We've got this one here. This one's a bit peachier, but it's similar sort of shape. And uh, this one looks almost like a scorpion. Yeah, they look exactly like the images online. They look exactly like every set of images I've seen online, pretty much. Let's see how they taste. So they're a little bit carroty, but they're very fruity, very crisp, wet, orange peppery. Some people say they taste a little like watermelon. They don't to me, but I can see how they would go with watermelon. And there is very, very little heat into that. I can see a bit into the placenta. And it's not very me at all. I previously tried the apricot habaneros and said that they were probably about a 2 out of 10. Or at least they wouldn't make the 2 out of 10 sauce, but they themselves were a 2 out of 10. So I should be out of 11 now. This. This would have no perceivable heat in sauce on its own, but it's about a one. It does have heat, but barely. And I'm going to see if that scorpion one's any different. Because that does look like an orange version of the smooth original Trinidad scorpion strain. But now, equally refreshing, equally munchable. Would go very nicely into salads as. You might expect of such a mild pepper, but would also go just as well into fruit salads, because it is that sort of fruity pepper flavour. I do hear the original use of this strain was for making sorbets out of, and given how light and refreshing a version of the habanero flavour it is, I could definitely see that working. Wouldn't be my first thought, but it's definitely a great special one. And I'm not even scared to rub my itchy eye, because there's that little heat in those. They're good. So, onto the piquinos. I'm going to start with the red one. These are commonly pickled and eaten on pizza in a nice white wine vinegar, but I've never had them fresh before, so we'll see how they do. Take the stem off and I guess just pop the whole thing in. So great crunch, little bit of bitterness from the seed, definite tang to them. Tiny bit soapy, which tells me it's probably an annuum, though it could be a fruitisans. Wait, no. No, it's supposed to be a chinense variety. That's interesting, because that is more of an annuum style heat. That is very peculiar. Flavour-wise, they're not bad, but I reckon fresh isn't the way to eat them. Pickling takes that little bit of bitterness out and heightens the tang. It means that they pair really well with things like goat's cheese on pizza. But also I reckon roasting these would work really well, as long as you roast a lot of them at once to get your roasting times worth. Because you just put one of these in the oven, you're getting almost nothing out of it. You're just wasting your gas or electric. Anyway, not a bad pepper, but I don't think eating them fresh was anything special. Let's see about the yellow one. That's a lot tartar, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily soapy, or is it not necessarily more soapy, but it definitely has sort of a fragrant, almost goes for the nose kind of flavour to it, which is a bit weird. I'm not sure what to make of that one. Personally, I'm less a fan of yellow peppers than of red peppers, so that's not quite as me, but actually I reckon it would probably go even better pickled, but not as well roasted. The red one's my favourite of the two, and I think the uh, habanadas are my favourite of the whole bunch today, but all of these have been pretty good peppers. And these two, they'd make a pretty mild sauce, I'm guessing probably about a 1.5. Their own heat, at least a 2, possibly a 2.5. They're nothing crazy, but they're noticeable. Still not nearly as hard as eating a fresh habanero or a fresh jalapeno, even. Yeah, I'd recommend any of these. 
place they came from, they didn't arrive in perfect condition, but they came all the way from the Netherlands, it was hardly surprising. Still got a lot of good peppers out of it, and I'm going to save the seeds from at least some of them, so that I'll have these varieties available to trade. See you next time everybody! Bye!